can you give him a shout of praise? Give him a shout of praise. For the sound of a king is in what? For the sound of a king is what? All right. When we, we're going to go and just give him one more shout of praise. And it's going to be a resounding praise of the presence of Jesus in this place. On the count of three. Are you ready? Are you ready? With all of your flags out. Are you ready? With all of your flags out. With all your handkerchief. Every single emblem that you have. Can, are you ready? One, two, three. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come again to return all the glory unto you, to give you all the praise, and to offer up thanks. It has been 30 years of your mercy and your goodness, and there were days in which we looked and did not know that we'd be standing here today, but you showed up for us with your strength. You honored your covenant over our lives. And you delivered us and saved us. We come and give you all the praise and thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. All right. <laughs> you may all be seated. I won't tell you to shake. I won't tell you to shake anybody this time. All right. Um, so that the people outside can be a part of this. Not the people inside. People outside, just give your shout of praise. <laughs> All right. Amen and amen. All right. We are here for a prophetic moment. Okay. Uh, it's a prophetic moment. Um, the reason why we are here this day is that I was in deep prayer. I have no plans. I have never in the history of this ministry done an anniversary. Uh, but I was in deep prayer. And I wasn't thinking about it. And it just came up in my spirit that do your 30th anniversary and go to Songo Ota and ask my servant to come in and speak on that day. And the date he gave to me was September 7th. So I received it and I went and the request was graciously granted. Amen. Now, I have said this story, I've said this story many times um, before, I mean, to the church. I saw Bishop Oedipo for the first time in 1988 at the Holy Ghost Convention in Ibadan. And he was wearing a green Agbadan, or gray Agbadan, he came to speak. His session had finished, he just came to say something. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. So I tapped the person beside me, I said, who is this person speaking? He said, he's Bishop Edith. I said, where is this church? He said, Kaduna. I said, so if I want to hear him, how will I hear him? So I'll wait for one year. He said, you have to wait for one year, except you want to go to Kaduna. He comes once a year to Ibadan to speak. So I waited a year. On that day, I checked the poster. I said I was going. Rain began to fall. I defied the rain. I walked in the rain to the bus stop in Songo and took a bus to um, Ojo, where is where the meeting was holding. And that was 1989, I believe. And I heard him say, uh, God has given us an insurance. He said, you have to wait for one year, except you want to go to Katna. He comes once a year to be able to speak. So I waited a year. 
On that day, I checked the poster. I said I was going. Rain began to fall. I defied the rain. I walked in the rain to the bus stop in Songo and took a bus to um, Ojo, where is where the meeting was holding. And that was 1989, I believe. And I heard him say, uh, God has given us an instruction to move to Lagos. I, I thought I didn't hear well. So I, I moved to Lagos. So when I got to Lagos, I don't know whether he's here today. But yeah, my friend, um, Pastor Sholadio, I went to see him in his house. And there was a flyer there. And I looked at the flyer. I said, you don't know this man. He said, I said, so is there any church in his area? Let me take you. You will hear something today. So we looked out for Winner's Chapel. It was, uh, they, were, they had just started in um, like um, three floors. And we started going every week and all of that. And I must say this here, that um, my understanding of ministry, uh, the breakthrough inside my consciousness to be able to understand ministry, I will never have transited. Because the history was that all the people that did campus fellowship back then were not transiting into ministry. But that breakthrough in understanding was what brought about that transition into ministry. And uh, the day he ordained me, he told me, he said, I'll come. Uh, I just don't want to go back into the story. But a minister in this country at that time, who was a ranking minister, told me, said, this man loves you more than he loves me. That was how deep it was. All right? The day I was getting married here, when I left, my mother saw me here. She called me and said, look, look, you have a lot of friends in ministry. This is my mother. She said, but the person I know, just observe him, that supports you 100% with his heart is Bishop Oedeko. She said, you know, I don't answer. I said, I'm your mother. She said, I'm your mother. I'm telling you what I sensed as a mother, all right, in this place. Now, I won't go to length because it's not a minister's conference. But there are things we take for granted in ministry today in Nigeria that were pioneered by him, that, that we take it for granted. Even this talking mentorship and all of this, we take it for granted. Those things were not like that in the past. It was somebody who pioneered it, somebody who showed us that loyalty pays, faithfulness pays, a heart of a servant is how you get the inheritance that God has, all right, for you. And let me just close by saying this. I was on the queue one day in a Starbucks coffee shop in, in, um, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is not uh, New York or Washington, Milwaukee, all right, Milwaukee. Yeah. And I was queuing, and the woman behind me, she must have been about a between 78 to 82 year old white lady. She just turned around and said, which country are you from? I said, Nigeria. And then she turned. And look, she said, do you know Bishop David Oedipo? Ah, I said on the queue to buy coffee, a white elderly lady is asking me this question. That shows the reach and the impact that this man has had on um, not just, I mean, Nancy Dufresne's was saying this a few weeks ago at the Southwest Believers Convention. She said something about him and said, you know, he has a voice, a loud voice. When he speaks, the body of Christ in the world hears. Let's rise to our feet and welcome to the worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations. 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 
There is nothing called best today. Best is tomorrow. Best is in quest. Best is in the future. If you call it best today, what will it be tomorrow? Bester? <laughs> it's a form to say best practice. Good practice, okay. Better practice tomorrow. And better yet next tomorrow. It's been good. It shall be better. Yeah. Last 30 years, it's been good for this great ministry and for the set man, his wife and the team. It shall be better. Yeah. One of the things I caught earlier is that the part of the justified as a shining light ordained to shine more and more and more and more. Then I said, I'm not prepared for it better yesterday. That was back in 81. Not set for a better yesterday. That every year must be a plus on the previous. Every day, plus on the previous. Every week, plus on the, on the previous. That shall be your portion. Amen. That shall be your portion. Amen. For everyone joining us in this celebration, that shall be your portion. Amen. For every member of this great church, that shall be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thanks for watching this video. I believe you are richly blessed by this video. Stay tuned for the next news. If you are yet subscribed to this channel, please don't forget to do so. Till next time, come here. We stay blessed. Shalom.